Hello, Citadel Church. This is Prophet John Harkey. I want to greet you. I, I know that pro probably you're wondering, what's the vision of this house? What's the vision of this church? What's the vision of the leadership? Obviously, we have these core values. The three core values is we want to be spiritual. We want to be prophetic. And we want to be relational. What does that actually mean? And why is that important? Well, when you talk about the prophetic, so if we isolate the prophetic, is our ability to hear from God. But also, by hearing from God, we, we come into contact with people who aren't hearing from God. And when we impart that to them, they begin to hear from God. I want to be a prophetic church. I want us to... to elevate and use and operate and be equipped to hear from God and to prophesy to this city and to prophesy to the people that come to the Citadel Church to prophesy over your life why it's so important. I'm here because of a prophetic word. Now when you talk about spiritual, what does that mean? I believe that there are millions of Christians around America who aren't being spiritually awakened. They attend church, but their spiritual life is almost, is very shallow. It's, they're not interested in the things of God. So at this church, the vision of this house is that we put a high demand on your spiritual growth. Because I have seen this in, in the 30 years of traveling that when you grow spiritually, it affects every area of your life, your relationship, your marriage, your how you raise your children, how you handle your finances and your affairs in life. Because now, by growing spiritually, there's an impartation of supernatural intelligence and divine wisdom, which is so important in our development spiritually. It's not just having knowledge. There's so many people that have knowledge but they don't have a spiritual awakening. So that's why we have worship. That's why we have guest speakers, because we want people to be touched by the Holy Spirit. So they, because I know this, they'll grow, they'll accelerate. That's why we have a lot of meetings. That's why we have services, so people can grow spiritually. But then there's that third one, the relational side. You know, there's a tremendous book. And if you ever get a chance to read it, I want to encourage you. It's by the famous German theologian, Dietrich Bonhoeffer. It's called Life Together. The whole concept of the, of the book is related on, on Galatians, where it says, bear one another's burdens, thus fulfill the law of Christ. I believe it's Galatians 5.20. So much of our growth as, as people, so much of our growth as men and women is a result of who we hang out with. As, 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 the, as it says in the epistles, bad company corrupts good character. And I believe that we're at church doing life together, growing in our relationships with the, each other, because that's how we love the body and that's how we learn to love our neighbor. And because you know what, no matter what church you're at, what church you attend, there's going to be conflict. It's inevitable. But if you're not in the house of God, if you're not growing relationally, where you're interacting with people from different responsibilities and background and different issues. But see, we learn to love in the context of relationship. And so relationship is, is part of the vision of the Citadel. That's why we encourage you to attend every service. That's why we encourage you to attend our meetings, our Bible studies, our, our women's Bible studies, our young adults, the youth, uh, the men's. That's why we intend, because it, you will grow not only in spiritually, but you'll grow relationally and you'll, because those relationships, I, I look back in my own life, I, I, was, I got saved in 1984 and 
I've still got relationships with those people today who had such an impact on my life, who invested in my life as a new believer. And I believe that part of our, our vision of this church is that we want to invest in people so that you can become the best ver version of yourself. We may not do it perfectly, but, but we all don't do things perfectly either. And this vision is burning in my heart you know, because I want to see this church grow. I want to see it multiply. I want to see ministry raised up. And I think this is a great place for you to be raised up in ministry. And who knows what the future holds? Because, you know, one of the things we have to understand, and it's, and it's predominantly, it's a core value in my wife and I's vision, is that in the third chapter of John, it talks about John the Baptist, that, that he was a friend of the bridegroom. Because people were, 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 were gravitating toward Jesus and it, because his disciples, they're, they're all going to that man across the Jordan. And, and, and John the Baptist said, he rejoiced and said, I'm a friend of the bridegroom. And, and th in this church, we understand, you don't belong to us. You belong to, the, you belong to Jesus. And because you belong to Jesus, we want you to become all that Jesus wants you to become because we don't own you. Now, there might be demands that we'd like you to serve, volunteer, whether you're on the worship team, whether you're an usher, whatever you do. But at the end of the day, you belong to Jesus. And, and, if, and when you do that, when we understand that, then we can relate to each other where you can be in a place of freedom and growth. And obviously, you know, we have a structure because you cannot have a church or an organization without a structure. And you have to understand that wherever you attend church, wherever you go, the structure may be different. But the goal is the same. The vision of the Citadel is spiritual, prophetic, relational and my goal for you is to grow in god to be awakened and we want to raise up as many leaders as possible because look at our nation there there's a lack of leadership and what better place to raise up leaders is but the church but part of relationship and, and a core value of ours is the semblance of honor that we have to honor people. If you recall, what's the fifth commandment? Honor your father and mother so that you would have long life and things would go well to you. Why is that so important? i tell you that why important. Because if I can't honor the people I see or those that are in authority, how can I honor God? Because it, because Honoring the people is a pathway to honoring God. And then when I honor people and honor God, I'm free of complaining and grumbling. And I'm in that place of thanksgiving. And I hope, I hope that Citadel will become a part, part of your life. It would be something I want to, I want to serve in that atmosphere. I want to grow in that atmosphere. I want to, I want to get my purpose in that atmosphere and I am so excited to be able to do whatever I can as the senior leader of this house to see you become all that God would want you to become. God bless you. Mm -hmm.